So quite a number of Ghanaian players abroad were in action in the English FA Cup game that was played over the weekend and we are about to check out how some Black Stars players performed for their respective clubs in the English FA Cup. Well, Antoine Semenya was on target for his club Bristol City and guess what? He has scored all two goals this year for Bristol City as we enter 2023. Also the likes of uh, Mohamed Salisu and Jordan Ayu clash in the game between Crystal Palace versus Southampton, of course, we'll be looking at that, as well as Barbara Man, uh, his side, that is Reading, won the game by two goals to zero, and a Ghanaian player, a young Ghanaian player, was on target for Reading in one of the goals. So, as usual, please stick and stay as I bring you up to speed on all that. All you have to do is please hit the subscribe button, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. Let's get right into it. So Jordan Ayus Crystal Palace faced Mohamed Salisu Southampton in the Emirates FA Cup third round game which was played on Saturday 7 January 2023. Jordan Ayu failed to score a goal for Crystal Palace as they exited the competition after losing by two goals to one against Southampton. However, Mohamed Salisu and Southampton progressed to the next round after earning the important win over Crystal Palace. Jordan Ayu and Mohamed Salisu both played 90 minutes of action in the game and it was Jordan Ayu who was deployed as a winger unlike last week where he played as the main striker and managed to score a goal for Patrick Vieira's men in that game that he played last weekend. The Black Stars forward put up an average performance after he returned to his wing position and his performance did not really overwhelm as he failed to score a goal in the game. He was rated 6.4 by SofaScore for his performance in the game. On the other hand, Black Stars defender Mohamed Salisu was the only player in Southampton's defense who did not pick up a card in the match. Three out of the defenders in Southampton picked up yellow cards in the game. Well, for Mohamed Salisu, he was rated 6.6 .6 for his performance and he made one block, two tackles and engaged in nine duels in the match. Well. Jeffrey Schlob later came on as a substitute in the 74th minute. The midfielder was rated 6 points for his performance as he played just 16 minutes in the game. He had 17 touches on the ball with a passing accuracy of 71% and made one clearance in the game as Crystal Palace exited the Emirates FA Cup in the third round. Well, moving on, Daniel Amate was an unused substitute for Leicester City in their 1-0 win over Gillingham. The Black Stars defender has been a pillar in defense for the Foxes but was made to rest in the Emirates FA Cup game as they progress to the next round after earning that 1-0 win over their opponent. Well, also in the match that involved Hull City, well, Ghanaian striker that is Benjamin Tete made his return to action for Hull City in their 2-0 defeat to Fuam. The player has been out of action for the past three months and as a result, he even makes Ghana's 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Well, Benjamin Tete came on to play the last 18 minutes of the game and had a 70% passing accuracy. He was unable to save his side from defeat to Fulham. Well, Benjamin Tete has been in very good shape since joining Hull City, but unfortunately, his stay in England has been ruined to his first injury that he experience in the championship well let's go on and do some more and Tariq Lamte also inspired Brighton to a 5-1 victory over Middlesbrough in the Emirates FA Cup the right back was on hand to intercept and also make some good dashing runs which helped Brighton to end five goals in the game the Ghanaian defender played 90 minutes of action with a superb passing accuracy of 92 percent in the game well Tarek Lamte was joined by English player of Ghanaian descent Danny Warbeck in the game who came on as a substitute to play the last 16 minutes of the game. Unfortunately, Danny Warbeck was not part of the goal scorers in the game for Brighton as they defeated Middlesbrough by 5 goals to 1 in the Emirates FA Cup to progress to the next round. Well, in another match, Black Stars left back Barbara Man was handed a starting rule in Redden's game against Watford. Redden won the match by two goals to zero to advance to the next level and guess what? A Ghanaian player was part of the goal scorers in Redden's victory over Watford. Well, Barbara Man played a key role in the game and was deployed as a left back in a three-back role where he combined offensive and defensive 
duties. Well, he sent a couple of crosses in the game and lasted 86 minutes in the game before he was substituted. Well, let me tell you about the goal scorer for Reading in the game against Watford. Well, Kevin Abrefa was the one who scored the first goal in the game for Reading in the game against Watford. Well, Kevin Abrefa is a former Ghana under 20 player and was part of Ghana's uh, under 20 team that played in that uh, tournament in France. Well, Kevin Abrefa was deployed more of a uh, right back and was able to get the goal for Reading in the first half by the uh, 45th minute with three minutes of added time. Well, Kevin attempted to go in for a cross, but rather he went in for goal, and that was how come he was able to disguise the Watford goalkeeper that is. Uh, Maduka Okoye, the Nigerian goalkeeper, to score the goal for Reading to go up by one goal to zero before half time. So that was how it ended there between Reading versus Watford. Now, before we go, let's talk about the player of the moment. I'm talking about Antoine Semenyo. Yes, he scored a goal in Bristol City's 1 1 game against Swansea as Bristol City went down by one goal to zero against uh, Swansea. However, in the second half, well, Antoine Semenya, who was handed a starting role, was able to score the equaliser for Bristol City as he headed in a cross from his teammates to get the equaliser for Bristol City as the game ended 1-1. Antoine Semenya has been a key figure for Bristol City this season and has been linked with several moves away from the championship side. But the player is in the form of his life and is enjoying time in the championship well his side that is bristol city will have to come up against swansea in another fixture to determine who makes it to the next round of the uh, emirates FA Cup. but this season antoine semenyo has been in good form and has scored two goals in two games in the year 2023 for his side bristol city just last week he was on hand to score one of the goals for bristol city in their game that they played in the championship and just this week he has been able to register another goal for bristol city in their game against Swansea. and from a player who used to come on as a substitute now bristol city play antoine semenyo in the starting role and in this game against Swansea city in the emirates fa cup antoine semenyo the Ghanaian striker for the black stars played the entire 90 minutes of the game and was able to do very well in the game so yes that is by way of update for Ghanaian players abroad and how they perform in the english fa cup let me know your thoughts in the comment section thanks for watching please do subscribe like share and don't forget to leave a comment